Ben Simoni and I'm dual board certified facial plastic surgeon. What I'd like to talk to you about is the role of anesthesia in plastic surgery. When we go and talk to a plastic surgeon, we'll talk about everything. The procedure, how the procedure is performed, where the procedure is being performed, and we look at the doctor before and after pictures. But one thing that a lot of patients they do not ask is what about anesthesia? Um, and they will take the doctor's word that say, well, you need anesthesia for this. There are a lot of procedures these days can be done without the need for general anesthesia. Why do we need a general anesthesia? Because a lot of procedures could be difficult for a person to go through without putting on there. However, with recent advances in medicine, it's possible to do a good number of plastic surgery procedures very comfortably without need of anesthesia. If you can have a procedure done so comfortably and the amount of the discomfort is so little, there is no reason to have general anesthesia for that procedure. Some might ask, so what's a big deal? Um, anesthesia is safe these days, and why just not have the anesthesia for the procedure? Yes, anesthesia is safe these days, and um, it will be safer as we will go into the future. However, there are risks associated with general anesthesia. Every once in a while we hear that some people, they have problem with plastic surgery or even die from uh, anesthesia. And these are the people who might not have a medical condition before that has been known to doctors, and once they go under anesthesia, that condition exacerbate and it brings problems with or, for that patient. So, and there are also other conditions that has nothing to do with the medical background and they are just the risk of anesthesia itself. So if you can take the risk of anesthesia away, why not? Another issue with anesthesia is that anesthesia causes swelling, anesthesia causes bleeding. The, all the gases and the medications that we use for anesthesia, they are vasodilators, meaning that the blood vessels relax. As our body relaxes with anesthesia and our muscles relax, our blood vessels have muscles in their walls. As we make an incision to the skin, the reason that we just don't bleed to death is that uh, the blood vessels, they go con to contraction and those muscles contract the blood vessels. However, under that, uh, some of the anesthesia medication, those muscles relax and the person bleeds. And when we do, for example, a facelift on the person, the person bleeds underneath the skin. Even when they're coming out of the anesthesia, as the tube gets pulled out of the mouth, they will gag. And the uh, patient's blood pressure becomes labile and goes up and down. Even in recovery room, as people feel that they, either they, uh, they throw up or they feel they're throwing up, the blood pressure goes up and down, and all these vessels bleed. And there are that grogginess and some people uh, have that bad feeling after the anesthesia um, sitting in recovery room and it's not needed if you can do a procedure and these days the procedures can be done without anesthesia you can have your eyelids done without anesthesia you can have even your facelift done without anesthesia I'm not talking just the mini face you can have a full facelift done under anesthesia, without anesthesia you can have liposculpture, liposuction done under without using of an anesthesia not all the doctors train or not all the doctors are willing to perform these procedures without anesthesia. Some doctors might not feel comfortable and because of the way they've been trained or they just don't like to do it in that sense. So if that's something that is important to you, you might want to find a doctor that performed your uh, procedures without use of anesthesia. More and more I hear people that they come into my office and what scares them the most is anesthesia itself and uh, there's no need these days to have procedures done without, uh, with use of anesthesia. However, one thing I'd like to make sure that you understand is that do not get fooled by uh, many procedures or non those non-surgical procedures that do not work well just trying to avoid the anesthesia itself. And that's not a good way to do it, meaning that you, most of the time you will not get the result that you want and um, it's, uh, you wasted your money, you wasted your time, 
and just because you don't want to have anesthesia. Just make sure that the procedure that you're doing is an actual procedure, you have a good result from it, ask the doctor to show you his own before and after pictures of that particular procedure. And don't just rely on um, the company's images that they usually just give it to the doctors. Um, you want to see what that doctor is capable of if he performs those procedures and what results did he get uh, with those procedures that do not require anesthesia.